one of the most common reasons for this pain is uh, in, arthritis. In the, right, in the elderly, it's uh, ar the arthritic changes in the back. So uh, at about age 30, we start to see some arthritic changes, which the, the beginning of it is start, start the soft tissue problems, a little bit disc issues, uh, ligamentum flavum, which is the ligaments of the uh, spine. And then we start getting arthritis or the overgrowth of bone. So anytime you have large bone, that's gonna be an arthritic change, cystic changes. Um, and in the elderly, that's common. So at 30, it starts. By 60, you're guaranteed to have some arthritic changes in the spine. So it's very common, and uh, we have to identify what is normal aging of the spine and what is pathologic or a problem or disorder in the spine and see how that correlates to the patient's symptoms. Because just because you have a finding on imaging, uh, it doesn't necessarily uh, dictate tr treatment. We really treat the patient and not the pictures. Um, and arthritis in the back can manifest in several different ways. You can have arthritis that just causes back pain, and that's usually the joints in the back. Sometimes those are called facet joints or zygopophyseal joints uh, in the back, and that can usually be in the back. Once those overgrow too much or the disc space becomes narrow, you have degenerative discs or narrowing of the disc, that can now get the nerve hole to be very small and can pinch the nerve as it exits or as all the nerves come down. So those are all different things. Uh, some symptoms as uh, from central canal stenosis would be uh, claudication, neurogenic claudication, which what means- What is that? Right, so that's gonna be when you're, when you're walking and you feel like your legs get heavy or fatigued uh, and you have to sit down and take a break. That's a, that's a significant uh, uh, problem and something that we can address with some exercises and sometimes we need in, uh, further interventions such as injections or surgery for that.